I'm 27 years old and I was the 2016 Women's British Downhill Skate League winner. Two years ago I started trying to ride downhill and learning to slide and yeah, just been addicted since then. <laughs> I followed groups like Longboard Girls Crew and Endless Girls who were just absolutely killing it and it really made me reevaluate the doubt that I wasn't able to do something like that. What, there was no reason why I wouldn't be able to do something like that. And so I got out there and gave it a go. And, <laughs> and I think probably the more women that we see skating and the more people that we see doing those things that you think you can't do, the more encouraged that you are to give those things a try. <laughs> Devo and the owner of Scene Skate Shop in Preston. I've skated for over well, about 25 years. My next door neighbour had a board. Um, he used to fly up and down the street on his knees on the board and uh, we decided one day that we'd try and stand on it and just kind of got hooked really from there. Developed quite a lot in Preston um, when I first started skating. Um, it wasn't a massive scene, a lot of it was based outside of Preston and that was the whole idea about starting a shop in Preston. We used to go to Manchester quite a lot to get stuff. There was nowhere else around here so we decided that you know Preston needed a shop. Obviously that has flourished the skate scene over the years, but it has grown and it has decreased as skateboarding has become popular and then it becomes not popular and, and so forth. Um, yeah, well the shop was started in 97, so we are celebrating 20 years this year. Uh, started in a small uh, shop uh, at the top of Frygate, uh, we were there for about four years and then decided that the scene was big enough to grow. And obviously with that, we kind of expanded the footwear range and the clothing ranges uh, into stuff. There was more streetwear as well. Uh, and then we moved to the other location at 47. Um, we were there for about 10 years. And then again, decided that we were outgrowing that premises. And uh, we took on new lines and decided that moving to a bigger shop was the way forward. Um, we've been here nearly two years now. Um, we obviously have a team which has changed over the years. We sponsor five riders at the minute. Um, they're from Preston and from surrounding areas, Blackpool areas. Um, the stuff that we've been involved in over the past couple of years, we put video premieres on at the shop. Uh, we've put art installations on. We've helped the council um, in sort of designing the Preston Park. 
which we rallied for about 12 years now to get. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to support the scene as much as possible, hence that's why the, the shop is called Scene. Uh, we basically formed a committee, Preston Skate Parks Projects, um, which then helped us get in talks with the council. Uh, it's been a long road, it's about 12 years now. Um, and a lot of skaters were involved, so it's sort of doing research with skateboarders, petitions, uh, trying to school the council on what skateboarding is, travelling to other parks, uh, and then we we're actually on the panel to decide on which uh, skate park uh, contractor got the tender for the park, so we helped the council through that. Uh, we stock a mixture of stuff, obviously we stock a lot of hardware, so these skateboards, skate stuff, wheels, trucks, bearings, uh, and then footwear, you know, we stock a quite a wide range of footwear, not only skate stuff, a bit more lifestyle stuff as well. And that crosses over into the clothing as well, and you've got accessories, hats, bags, you name it, we do it. You know, if it's on trend, popular, then we want to be seen to be there first. I'm Tobias Labatt and I'm general staff here at Rampmont Skate Park in Whiteland. But the section that we're currently stood in is the tunnel section and floating above me is the rhythm section for all the box jumps and the park riders as they be called. And then behind us is the beginner section, so obviously that's in the name, it's for the beginners, for the little kids. And then just behind me is the street section and it's probably my favourite section and it's for skaters it's probably the best as well because you, it's literally like skating in the street. What do you think makes it such a good place to skate and why do you think it's so popular? Honestly it's the ramp builders themselves, big shout out to 414 Skate Parks, um, Sean Scarface and the crew make awesome ramps as you can see and also I don't know, it's the, the thing for me, this park, you've got everything, you've got the beginner section, you've got the section above us which is really extreme, and then you've got the street section which is pretty chilling, and the bowl as well. So you've got a vast mixture, so I think that's what brings it all together it really. Caters for yeah, it caters for everyone, it caters from starting off to pro. Well the way we as a skate park actually offer first hand help is we offer lessons, so it's skateboard, scooter and BMX lessons. And obviously that's a good way for the young ones, especially if they've never done it before. They can literally start off learning how to stand on the board or stand on the scooter or the bike. And then they go with anything from dropping in, so rolling down and up on the ramps, and then obviously tricks. Until they get to a level where they're comfortable enough to go on and progress themselves. But they implement what we teach them basically. And also again, the different sections, that, can't, that helps a lot. In, as far as this place goes, obviously hopefully put in a few movable ramps or change the setup in a couple of years, that'd be nice. I think all, every skater welcomes change on the ramps that they're riding. As far as that, I hope to extend the shop as well and obviously see if we can do online and just get our general fan base worldwide. It's 1995 and now that I'm old, this dress weighs on my shoulders, heavy as boulders, but I told y'all, until the day that I die, I still will be a soldier, that's all I told you, that's all I showed you, that's all I